I've been testing certain mods for many hours, so you do not have to. I found a few of the best ones which will work and not make your game crash. If you play on survival and want the most challenging experience, but instead of looking for a place to sleep or constantly exiting the game to save, this mod will appear in the misc section on your pit boy and you can force the game to also save or save the game and this is really good stable mod with no issues. Mod number two is see through scopes which gives you a new scopes, rapid target acquisition and they can be crafted at any weapons workbench. Sadly NPCs will not drop these new scopes added with this mod. I like the 2.5 zoom and 4 times zoom on the pistols. Moving on to number three, plenty of exploration. This is an old mod but still works well and it adds 9 locations around the Concord area which are interior locations you have to travel inside to see. But they have added 7 exterior locations which includes Barry's peeping hole and huts around the starting area in the wasteland. Number 4, Free the Vertebirds works well in survival mode if you are sick of walking around everywhere and you can access this in game feature which comes late in the game being able to call Vertebirds. You need to head to the starting vault location to set up the mod and it places 8 helipad locations also on the map. Signal grenades will be more common to collect in the wasteland but close to signal towers is the place I noticed most will spawn in loot boxes. But certain vendors will supply these also. With the duplication glitch on the channel you can get unlimited supply of these. What I like about this mod you can change your course mid flight if you change your mind about where you want to go next. Number 5, this has been my favourite mod for many years, Sanctuary Hot Springs Home Settlement, having my own base away from the main settlement. Once you've installed the mod, you need to head to this location on the map to get the key. From the outside you have a jacuzzi, which all your followers will get in if you wish. Once inside it's a very cool home with an underwater base, storage areas, sleeping quarters and a great area to do all your crafting which benefits you in survival mode with the extra materials. This will provide you with a lot of materials and even a T-51 power armor suit. Everything on the inside and outside can be deleted and you can add items to your base. My only advice with this mod is not to have any other mods which change the sanctuary close by, which can cause texture issues. Number 6 is USO base game which adds the option to place pre-war builds on your settlement, buildable NPCs including pets on your settlement, you can even get Bunker Hill, Monument and the Combat Zone Fight Cage. You can also place rugs on the floor to assign NPC guards at certain stations or settlers in certain spots. 